So I think we were all a bit disappointed back before the Switch came out and we learned that it would not have video streaming services. Well, now it does. So we are on the eShop here, and if I go down one, you can see there is Hulu, free download. So that means Hulu is the first streaming app on the Switch. And, you know, I don't, my family doesn't have Hulu, so you could say I don't care, but that's completely false. I definitely do care, because this means that it is possible for there to be streaming apps on the Switch, and we'll hopefully see some more in the future. I'm hoping for, like, Netflix or uh, something else along those lines that I could actually use to come to the Switch, but... Again, that's really good, because uh, that means that we can have video streaming on the Switch, and that's nice, I guess. And as you can see, it doesn't take up very much storage, only 39 megabytes, so it's very accessible, if you, you could say. I do think it's funny that it's rated T for diverse content. <laughs> but anyhow, that's interesting. And if you go in the description, it'll talk to you about the channels that are available, and the cost for subscription, and that kind of thing. You do have to have a subscription. So it's a free download, but you're not you're not getting the service for free. But anyway, I just thought that was cool, because here's a streaming. So personally, I think streaming apps are just perfect for a system like this. So I'm really hoping that uh, further along, going forward, they'll add more streaming apps to the Switch, and more companies will put their streaming apps on the Switch, because like I said, I think it's perfect for a system like this that you can take anywhere. It just makes sense that it would have video streaming on it. I'm really hoping they put YouTube on it at some point and maybe let you put the videos you capture on the Switch onto the YouTube. I don't know. I'm uh, just interested to see what they're going to do with more streaming apps or more apps on the Switch instead of games. Because, you know, at first they said it's just a dedicated gaming platform. We're not looking at any kind of applications. Obviously, they're looking at some applications now. So I'm going to be interested to see what they're going to do put on the Switch in the future, so be sure to put down in the comments below what apps or streaming services you want to see come to the Switch in the future, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.